All right, so let's take a look at what happens when we have a, a solving a linear equation where we are going to have this rational. And rational means where we basically have a fraction inside of the equation. Um, the first thing we want to consider or, or look at when we, when we come across something that's rational like this is the idea of what our denominator can't be and what would make our, our equation undefined. And so to determine that, we look at the denominator. And so we say, okay, well, if I take x minus 6, our denominator here, and I set it equal to 0, and then I solve that using my algebra skills, so I add 6 to both sides, I find out that x really cannot be equal to positive 6, meaning that if I solve this equation right here, and I plug in an x here or here, that denominator would turn into a 0. So this would become 6 over 6 minus 6 plus 4 equals 6 over 6 minus 6. And, and at that point, what would happen is, is this becomes 6 over 0 plus 4 equals 6 over 0. And that's what we call undefined. And so when we look at these equations, we might be asked the question of, you know, what can our solution not be? In this case here, our solution cannot be equal to 6 because that would make our function undefined so that you cannot divide by a 0. Okay, so take a look at this guy right here. We have a denominator of 2 and a denominator of uh, x minus 4. So the 2 doesn't do anything. We don't, we don't set that equal to 0 because the denominator is a 2. But we take the x minus 4, we set it equal to 0, and we find out x cannot be equal to positive 4. And so same deal, Those, that's the solution that wouldn't work. If I got 4 when I solved this, that means that my solution would be undefined. All right, I'm going to leave that video right there, and we'll stop. So that's how we determine what, what would make our function or our equation undefined, what cannot be a solution.